this is where the fun begins. So after letting this thing sit for a little while, we're going to go ahead and pour it out here in the sink back here. We're getting some of those wood chips out, some of that extra stuff. The instructions say to make sure the vessel's clean after you fill it with water. This is definitely one of those ways that you're going to get that accomplished, right? That water's still hot in there from it only sitting for a couple hours. So that's a good indicator that we're nice and sealed, right? A little water never hurt anybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my funnel back here. Get that ready to go. I'll set this back in the back. Got a little bit of a mess here. No mind, no bother. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into these Amberana wood chips. So I'm just gonna pour them out here. That way we've got a decent idea of everything we got. And this is the three gram bag. This is what I recommend for this barrel. So I'm just gonna go chip by chip, grab a couple at a time. Gonna drop them in there. A lot of people ask, what do you do to get them out? We can go through the water method that we just did. Honestly though, I'm not worried about getting them out. This is going to be an amber on a barrel at this point. Anytime that we come back with something, we'll add that amber on a profile to it. A little chip tried getting away. And We'll just keep those in there. If they come out, they come out. Every time I run a new batch, I am going to add wood chips to it. This thing's gonna be a bugger getting apart. There's the gold tab. So, And then we'll grab the funnel. And remember, don't just set this funnel actually in there. We want to have that air gap. That way it can breathe as we're pouring this in, right? A lot of people say that one liter barrel will hold that whole bottle. Yeah, we're actually going to have a little bit of room in here after we pour this in there. And I'll show you. We've got another bottle behind me that we'll use in this one. Seven hundred fifty milliliter bottle, completely empty. Grabbing our second bottle. We won't be as forgiving on this one. Just rip it open quickly. When you are putting that second bottle in, be careful though, because we don't have very much room. It's about a quarter of this bottle. too much in there but that's all right so put the top back on that one a little bit of this is gonna come out put the cork in it we're completely full all the surface area in there is covered so it reduces a lot of the ability of evaporation evaporation isn't gonna be that big of a deal so now that that's corked we're good now remember, this is gonna be about a three week process. Here at Barrel Chronicles, we focus more on finishing and not aging. If we were talking about aging, that surface area of this thing being completely full would be a paramount part of getting this in and into that cycle, right? <clears throat> so the evaporation that we could have 
having that much headspace open, you could probably measure it. Would it be dramatic, drastic? Not very. So what we're doing here though, again, we're doing a finishing. So it's only gonna take about three weeks. We shouldn't lose anything. And if we do, it's gonna be very nominal. It depends on the humidity, temperature, the season, all those good, wonderful scientific things come into play here. So we won't worry about that right now. Here in about three weeks, we will come back to you and we'll take a look at what we ended up here with and we'll go from there. What I like to do is I actually take a Sharpie and I'll write on the back of the barrel uh, today's date. That way I can keep a track of what I've got going on. As you can see, I mean, we've got a couple more barrels back here that we're working with and these all have dates on them on the very back. We'll just write that date back there. Come on and focus. There we go. So I get that date wrote on there. That way I know when it's been put in and when it's time to take it out. What we do is we end up testing the juice. I'm gonna let this sit for two weeks. I'll start tasting it then. Uh, after two weeks, I will start tasting it every other three or four days. Uh, maybe once a week. So hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. All of those things help our channel. They help us get to a point of being able to reach other people and sharing the fun. I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a good one.